Welcome back to Sports Tonight on Channels Television. We are having so much fun talking about uh, what's going on in our world of sports. Yes, about 90 minutes has been played in that final match in Europa League between Atletico Madrid and Marseille. And it's still 2-0. Anton Griezmann, oh, it's 3 now. Wow. Oh. Uh, they knew I was going to get to the <laughs> updates, and so uh, they scored one more. So Atletico Madrid, oh forget about God. it so now. Sorry. Nothing can happen. Done yeah, and yeah. dusted. They are going with that title. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, the last time they played in the stadium in 1980, 86, we actually lost to Dynamo Kiev 3-0. You know, this time out, they have been second time lucky. Mm -hmm. You know, last time they lost, they said, this time around 3-0. And what a convincing way. And Atletico, Marseille desperately, desperately needs to win this game to qualify for the Champions League. Atletico have already qualified for the Champions League, but they haven't won a title since 2014 when they won the La Liga. So they are really very hungry, you know, to win this league and to win this uh, UEFA Cup. And I... Uh, Kudos to them. They've really been very explosive from the beginning. And, and Marseille has been very, very unlucky. The injury to Dimitri uh, Payet, yeah. you know, has really affected them. Mm. So. I, think, I think that that was a big blow. Because when you lose a player like Dimitri Payet, because of what he brings to the yeah, football yeah, yeah. match, his skill set, his ability to, to influence the game from set pieces, from free kicks, he can, he can go on those slalom runs and, and, and beat three, four people and create opportunities for his teammates. But Atletico Madrid was always going to be a bridge mm. too far because yeah. if there's any team who can manage a football match in 90 minutes, it's yeah. Diego Simeone and his boys. I know. So um, I was going to tell you that the game is in its 90th minute now. And Gabi says, wait a minute, I just got a goal in the 89th minute. What are you talking about? So it's Atletico Madrid 3 and then yeah. Olympic Marseille 0. Wow, right there. Uh, it's going to be a tough night for Marseille. Yeah, but I think the team that deserves to win is going on with the trophy tonight. Atletico Madrid, they have been awesome. And yes, they truly deserve uh, to win the title. Let's get on with the show now. Let's know that England's manager, Gareth Southgate, our World Cup squad, has been announced in an innovative way in a video featuring young fans. Yes, as we count down to the World Cup, you'll see all sorts. The video include, included the names of the players being reviewed by members of grassroots soccer clubs up and down the country. There were a few uh, notable absentees from the squad for Russia. Among them, experienced goalkeeper Joe Hart is missing. And Arsenal's midfielder Jack Wilshere, uh, who between them have been capped more than 100 times. Let's see that video. The official. That's my right, official England World Cup squad announcement. Let's go. Raheem Sterling. Of course he's going, bro. Yeah. Ashley, you're on the plane. Jack Butlin, safe fans. Josie! Nick Paul, we've got Russia. No! Jesenia! Jordan Henderson. Damien Dow! Gar Southgate, what's going on, man? Oh, you want me to hit them with the rest of the names, yeah? Ah, uh, calm, calm, calm. Boom! Deli Ali! Oi, 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 You're in the squad, bro! Jordan Pickford! Reading for the Muggins. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Women love this team! He's from Lewisham, you know. Done it. Well back. Marcus Rashford. The boy wonder. Kieran Trippier. Go on, man. There's only one Harry Kane. Wallenstein's finest! Russia 2018. The three lines are coming. And they're hungry. <laughs> then it's get to work. The team's actually quite sick, you know. Oh my oh. god, that was <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and, you oh see, that is as good as anything I've seen oh, this year. This I mean, is... it is it is creative, it is you know, exciting, and and it's heartbreaking for the players who didn't make it through because uh, I'm, I'm sure creative. someone like Joe Hart would have been having an itchy ear trying to hear whether he would be part of of, of the party. Jack oh. Wilshere also unfortunate not to be a part of this one, and Chris Smalling, the Manchester United oh. defender who's played more than any other Manchester United defender in the past season was not in the squad 
because Gareth Southgate said that Chris Molling is not confident on the ball. Mm. And, and, and that's a real shame for a player who, who has been around the block for a very, very long time and has not just developed in a way that you expect him to, to develop. It, it's a very young England squad. I worry for them because you're looking at the goalkeeper, Jack Bodland, yeah. and then Tom Heaton and the, the, the Everton goalkeeper. Very young squad. And as a defender, if you're going to walk up with a goalkeeper who's had less than 10 caps behind you, mm -hmm. you'll be very worried. Be very worried. Yeah. Just uh, this is the way to announce a World I, Cup I just, squad. I'm, <laughs> I'm so moved by you know, the creative nature of the announcement, the original thought. That's what has moved, really, really moved me. The fact that somebody could actually sit down, think of something like this. Yeah. I mean, they're just like practicality. And absolutely, in terms of creativity, massive. As for the team itself, I don't expect much from the English team. Even when they had top players, they, you know, they, they've, under, they've always been perennial underachievers when it comes to, you know, national team football. You know, the team is a very young squad, more like an experimental squad. I don't see them going there ruffling too much feathers. At the most, they make it to the quarterfinal. I doubt if they'll be able to second round would be a great result. It's a very, very young team and uh, inexperienced. And then, you know, the goalkeeper also new. Joe Hart have had a very terrible season, mm -hmm. you know, at West Ham. You don't blame Wilshere, injury prone. I, I thought he would make the team, but I'm not too upset that he didn't. Mm -hmm. so, so generally, it's, it's a very, very young team. I don't expect them to ruffle much further. You know, yeah. this is what we talk yeah. about a packaging. You know, yeah. there's just something about. Uh, <sighs> Just look at how they put together this World Cup squad. Um, and they, they didn't use superstars. They Children. went to the grassroots. To the grassroots. You know, just to, they can, right there, these kids can start dreaming that someday yeah. I can also be announced to play at the World Cup. So there are a lot mm. of ways, there are a lot of things we can do with our football. Mm. And this was really, I think I like the way they announced yeah. Jesse Lingard and the guys <laughs> on the console playing the game. And then we saw the celebration. And Dele Ali also was, yeah. was very, very innovative. I think I like that. Yeah. Uh, uh, so that's it with the English team. They have unveiled the squad. Um, June the 2nd, England will take on Nigeria in an international friendly match. Um, maybe we'll just beat them. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Wembley. We just beat them and uh, tell them now with this, go and get serious for the World yeah. Cup. <laughs> but it's okay.